Cuties! Welcome! How are you guys doing? Bonjour, no Konnichiwa! How the fuck you guys doing today? Gamers, today we're going to be doing the first, the very first BDO patch note video. Today's patch was an absolute heater, and so I want to go through all the stuff in the patch and go through some stuff that you should pay attention to if you're a new player, uh, because there's like a ton of like Lost Ark refugees in BDO right now. Uh, and spoiler, you get a flying horse, so I'm going to be going over how that works and to make sure you don't like fuck it up and pick the wrong horse. But before we jump into it, if you guys enjoy the content, like video, sub channel, come to Twitch. Otherwise, I will haunt your children. When they get older, I will haunt them. I will haunt your children's children, their children, and all all of the pets and all of that lineage so if you don't want your family to be haunted by me forever and your bonjourissimo gamers every single time they're sleeping i would recommend checking out the twitch channel let's jump into this baby so <laughs> uh today's patch added a ton a ton a ton of content we got new bosses we got a new class we got a whole bunch of stuff so the first thing i want to touch on is awakening megu now megu was already in the game but we got her awakening spec for those who are a little bit new what how awakening works in this game is that every class has a succession and an awakening you have two weapons succession makes your regular skills and your regular weapon juiced up awakening gives you a whole new skill tree with a whole new weapon and so this is megu's new weapon on the bottom here you're gonna they explain to you how the damage distribution works for each classes so succession your main to 70 percent of the damage and it calculates 30 percent of your ap from your awakening and then vice versa for awakening this is gonna be pretty cool she has like this weird mechanic where she like stands in place and it buffs her and stuff megu already is kind of juiced i don't i'm curious to see how awakening is going to be on her hopefully it's also completely busted if it isn't i'm going to be sad because i didn't make a mewa to make an awakening megu uh they added some class changes so this is just i don't know men can cross their legs pog it's 2024 three so you know we're we're revolutionary in this bitch you know what i'm saying but it just added a bunch of emotes or like a bunch of stances to a bunch of classes. There were some changes to some classes. So first of all, they made some changes to the invulnerability or invincibility in mo against monsters. So uh, with the addition of bossing in this game with the boss blitz, they added the ability to have like iframes that only exist in PvE to help some classes that don't have a ton of iframes so they don't get murdered by the boss blitz bosses. But on top of that, there was some nerfs to some classes. I'm not going to go through all of them just because I don't play like the majority of these classas. But th something that's important to mention, F's in the chat, boys. It looks like Megu got nerfed. Uh, sad flute music. A lot of her absolute skills got shot into the floor. This makes sense, however, because the way absolutes work is that absolutes are supposed to be the version that awakening classes use. So as absolutes are juiced up versions of your main skills that usually the awakening class will use, and the succession usually usually will use. Uh, what's the other one? I can't remember. They use a, diff a different version of it, but they kind of nerf some of her skills because again, Megu is insanely powerful. I was a friend of mine, Mr. Astro. Uh, was able to farm like red Elvia red orcs on a seasonal character, which was absolutely fucking insane. <laughs> the class is very, very, very busted, so it makes sense that she ate a bit of a nerf, uh, but not a lot of nerfs all around. So they added an ability. It looks like there's like a new thing you can do. I'm not very like knowledgeable with ships or life skilling or anything, but it looks like you can add a new node for your ship, and there's a video of your ship blowing fire, and that seems pretty sick. I think more boats should have flame swords attached to them. I think more things should have. Uh, flamethrowers attached to them. I think that's kind of pog. We got Mr. Imugi. I am so sad. I am so, 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 so sad that I did all of my boss blitz yesterday. I wanted to try out all the bosses for an upcoming video, and I forgot to save a lockout for Mr. Imugi, but he looks sick. He looks like a Legiacris from Monster Hunter. It looks like a badass fight. If you haven't done your boss blitz yet, go check him out. I'm sure he's a fucking badass fight, because honestly, so far, all the boss blitz fights are delicioso. Okay, dude, it's not delivery. Now we have uh, the graduation that's beginning. Uh, again, not every patch on is going to have like a ton of information, but because I know there's a ton of Lost Ark refugees playing video right now, I want to kind of explain some stuff when I can. The grad how graduation works is that once your character is finished in seasons, you can graduate your character. If you if this is your first character, graduating early isn't always worth it, just because there's a lot of stuff you can grind within seasons, and it gives you the opportunity to like have servers that are like less populated with players. Uh, but if you want if you're a more experienced player and you want to graduate early, you can. Uh, this is going to give you the opportunity to bring your character into the regular game, which means that you can link your character your your gear from your main onto the new class. Uh, this also means that you're going to be able to convert all of your Tuvala gear into Tet boss gear, which is absolutely huge. You get a huge uh, reward for this. You're getting uh, some exchange coupons. You're getting uh, advice of Valks. You're going to be getting uh, some Cron stones, secret books, just a bunch of rewards for transferring over your character. You're going to get your choice of a pen composure accessory. So the way these work in general is these are the same strength as a Tet 
uh, regular like accessories. So like a Ted, like, you know, let's say like a Ted Crescent or a Ted Tungrad or a Ted Bassi, I believe. And then for the neck, I have, I'm not sure what the name is for the Ted Ogre, right? A Ted Ogre ring. If you are new, the thing that you're going to want to focus on first, what you're going to want to redeem as your first reward is going to be your pen Kaposha necklace because the neck, the Ogre ring is very expensive and it's going to be the prior. The way this is going to work in the future is going to go for neck, belt, and then ring is the prior of like what you want to like redeem for this. So if it's your first season, definitely redeem the pen Kaposha necklace. Uh, other than that, they removed pet levels. So before, pet had tiers and they had levels. So when you buy a new pet, you'd have to level it up. And then you'd have to also tier it up so it would loot, loot fast. That's a weird sentence. But they removed levels. So now you just have to hit tier 4 pets. <laughs> now, this is a big one. This is what I was talking about in the beginning of the video. They've added a free Dream Horse for every single player in this game. If you are watching this and you're a Lost Ark Andy and you're on the fence about trying out BDO, if you have even a fucking crumb of interest in the game, bro, just log in and redeem this free fucking flying horse. For the love of God, you're going to regret not doing it. It's like a free like 12 bill and it's like money that you won't ever want to spend when you're actually playing the game because you're going to be trading upgrades for a horse. You're not just, you're just not going to want to do that. Come get this free horse. What you're going to do is that you're going to click your Y button. That's the default button. You're going to redeem both of these. They're going to be in your inventory. You are then going to follow the instructions. You click L and you're going to click the manufacturer, which is the last tab in the like processing menu, or whatever. You just right click both of them and you click start. It's going to manufacture into in, them into a new item, the Vipico's uh, fucking dreaming horse, whatever it is. From there, you're going to cl right click that item. A new window will pop up with a bunch of words they don't understand. You're going to have the choice between dream doom, dream Dine, uh, dine and dream Ardunat. For female and male, the one you're going to want to pick if you're a brand new player and you have absolutely no fucking idea which one to pick, pick the Ardunat. This is the Pegasus. Now, you can choose between a Unicorn, a Doom, or a Pegasus. The Unicorn lets you travel the desert faster, which is pretty useless in my opinion. Uh, the choice is pretty much between Doom and Pegasus. Doom allows you to like kind of do damage to players and run them down. Uh, you also can have two players on a Doom. A Pegasus flies. If you are kind of indifferent or don't know, the Pegasus is the safest bet because... It's the only one that like legitimately changes the way you travel the world. It is the only one that is not really a niche. It is actually just a complete quality of life upgrade. Pick the female Ardunat. You take female because it's more expensive. It has something to do with like breeding. You can make horses fuck and they make babies. Pick a female dream Ardunat. That is the one that you want to pick. That is the flying Pegasus. You absolutely want that bad boy. The thing that's even more insane about this entire system that I was kind of worried about when they first announced this is that horses... Uh, the way horses actually work in this game is that they have skills and training a horse, it could be kind of a trap because there's like techniques to get the horses to have the right skills and stuff, but they actually gave us this horse fully trained. So instead of trying to debate new players and trying to get money out of them or whatever it is, they actually gave us not only a free fucking Pegasus, but they fully trained it for us, which is insanely generous and insanely massive. For the love of God, if you're on defense about this, come log in and get this free Pegasus. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it. They just made some... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So the last change I want to mention here is that season characters can also ride dream horses now. Apparently in the past they were not able to. So if you are still staying in seasons, you can also ride your free your dream horse or your Pegasus uh, whenever you want. So gamers, this is an absolutely humongous patch. This is a huge, huge, huge patch. This is just a mass order for BDO. I would recommend you guys check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below. What are you interested in? Are you guys excited about this? Are there future video video ideas that you would like for me to talk about? Leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for hanging out. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.